Thank you for joining us for the third part of our Undeposited Funds QuickBooks online training video. These videos are brought to you by the Office of Saranto Columbus. My name is Christopher Teague, and I'm a bookkeeper here at the firm, and I'm also a QuickBooks online pro advisor. When creating the deposit, you should think of the Undeposited Funds account as an envelope where you keep cash and checks until you take them to the bank. If you were to receive more than one cash or check payment in a day, you'll want to group them all together in one deposit. Think of the Make Deposit screen as the deposit slip you will fill out at the bank. We're going to move on to creating the deposit. Here we are at our company dashboard. And we're going to go back to our Quick Create button on the top right-hand side of the screen. And this time in the Other section, we're going to click on Bank Deposit. In the Bank Deposit screen, we want to make sure we're working with the correct account. In our case, it's checking. We're also going to want to make sure that the deposit date is correct. In the center of the screen, we're going to select the payment that we're accepting. You notice that now our deposit amount has increased to the $200. And we're going to click on Save and Close. To show you what this looks like in the register currently, if we go to the gear icon in your Your Company column, we're going to go to Chart of Accounts. And since we're using the checking account on the right-hand side, we're going to click on View Register. You can see that the top line in our register is the deposit that I just entered. We're going to go to the Banking Center and match that with the feed that came in from the bank. So in the left-hand navigation bar, we'll click on the banking. Again, make sure we're in the same checking account. And you can see here in my feeds that this is the deposit that I just entered, which has also cleared the bank. So we're gonna click and match that deposit. Returning to the register, you can see that it's something I had entered, and now also the icon shows that it was a bank feed that came in. That concludes part three of this video. I hope you'll join us for more. And as always, you can send questions to qbadvisor at sorrento.com.